Well, a study out today could change the way that millions of men are treated for prostate cancer. Researchers found that many patients may not need to undergo painful treatments that can carry some lifelong side effects. For more on this study, we're joined by Bloomberg's Shannon Pettypiece. And I feel like we have to be really careful with this story because obviously Absolutely. you could take the headline and run and have right. dangerous consequences. So, right. so tell us exactly what they found. Yeah, so this is for men who have early stage cancer. It's a slow growing tumor. It hasn't spread outside the prostate. And it's also looking at older men. men. They were about 65 years old in this study, which was sort of a hypothetical model they did of the different risks and benefits here. And they found that for these men with slow growing early stage tumors who are a bit older later in life, that for them, they could get an additional six months of quality life expectancy if they forego, if they didn't do the most aggressive treatment and instead just took this wait and watch approach and continue going to their doctor for regular checkups, you know, to make sure that the cancer wasn't spreading. And the problem is that prostate cancer uh, treatment involves surgery, radiation. It has very terrible side effects. Not only is it painful, but it can cause impotence, erectile dysfunction, urinary problems. So not things that people want to go through. And a lot of men are very hesitant to go and have this surgery. But until now, doctors have really advocated it. About 90% of prostate cancer patients end up going for this most aggressive treatment. So this study is saying, what the author said was, take a look. If you fall into this category, you may be best off to just wait and watch and see if it progresses and not have to go through this sort of painful treatment. The danger there, what are you waiting for? And that's right. just for because it to get if worse. It yeah, yeah, if it does advance, then it could be harder to treat. But again, people who are later on in life, sometimes it may take 10, 15 years for the cancer to spread, and you may have died from something else before then. So it really depends on the patient, but the author said that now this gives people information that there is a real quality of life benefit uh, for skipping treatment and deciding to, uh, you know, take a different approach. And I didn't realize this is the most common cancer for men next to skin cancer. Right, absolutely. 200,000 so. people a year.